Okay, just a little short uh, clip here, a little four-minute presentation uh, on triammonium uh, polyphosphate sulfate, which is commonly called TAPS. And uh, what it is, it's uh, uh, a material that you can't buy, you have to build it yourself in the field. So there's monoammonium phosphate, 1152, uh, diammonium phosphate, 1846, and triammonium uh, phosphate, which is actually built on the go in the field because you can't store it. Um, it makes crystals in the soil, and those crystals um, keep the calcium away from the phosphate. So we know the enemy of uh, phosphate is calcium on the high pH side, and on the low pH side, it's the metals that begin to interfere, such as aluminum or uh, magnesium. So acid soils, uh, TAPS performs really well. Soils with lots of variability, TAPS performs very well. And of course the material is uh, crystallized and this is an exaggeration here uh, of a 30 inch band center where the uh, crystals build up with the injection of uh, polyphosphate, thiosol, and uh, NH3. Of course the polyphosphate and the thiosol are uh, in the band as a homogeneous material. And that's one of the beauties of uh, polyphosphate is that you can combine other materials such as ammoniated zinc, low cost metal that's required for primarily for corn production. And uh, <clears throat> so these metals are introduced and carried by the polymer in the 1034O. There's a limit to how much you can carry, but the beauty of it is it's all homogeneous and much more effective than like a dry fertilizer application. So uh, the discoveries of triammonium polyphosphate or TAPS stretch over uh, quite a history. And uh, some of the first applications were uh, not very successful because the uh, freezing lines of the ammonia and uh, <clears throat> when we finally broke through with the uh, technique, we moved the injection um, point uh, so that the polyphosphate is actually, and the thiosol, are actually injected first. And so uh, this would be the stream of polyphosphate, this would be the stream of ammonia. So it's accomplished uh, with these high pressure lines and these orifices, and uh, these orifices provide uh, lots of back pressure, which means that the pressures can go up to, up to 300 PSI with the injection of anhydrous ammonia. And uh, that's very unique and unusual, and therefore we end up with the ability to put the poly first and inject the ammonia flow directly into the polyphosphate. Now, what does that all mean as far as the crop? Well, if you have liquid streaming flows, which uh, we desire, and these liquid streaming flows are absolutely uniform, as shown, the uniformity allows us to build a product that's within a 1% coefficient of variation. So it's very uniformly applied, and there's no ups and downs in the delivery. Uh, and the final point is, is that the roots penetrate into the band uh, because it's so evenly applied. If it's over-applied, under-applied, well, roots don't develop well, and uh, that's why the big breakthrough that occurred about 10 years ago when we uh, started applying the polyphosphate first and driving the ammonia directly into it, um, forcing this crystallization. So there's lots of other techniques out there uh, where they try to dual place, but almost always dual placement uh, uh, has to separate and release the liquid uh, polyphosphate second behind the ammonia. And uh, so Xactrix is really unique in the fact that it injects the polymer first along with the ammonium thiosulfate, forming taps on the go. Triple super ammoniated keeps the calcium away on the high pH soils, keeps the metals away on the low pH acid soils. If you have soils with lots of variability, TAPS performs very well. So uh, just a commercial update on um, what we think uh, is one of the great technical breakthroughs in reducing the use of the material. The phosphate's about 200% uh, more crop effective than a dry uh, phosphate application. And then the nitrogen is 166% more crop effective 
because of the streaming flow, you combine the two with the thiosol, which stabilizes the band, a little bit of ammonia and zinc in there, and boy, it's balanced. It's just right. It's Goldilocks in the three pairs. It's just, this porridge is just right. So um, that concludes my discussion for the day on taps and how it's formed.